Hey there, inspiring guitarists. This is just a little, yeah, I'm, y'all know I don't do lessons. Um, I tell you about places that will give lessons. I give occasional tips and tricks. Um, I got asked by one person to please play this song or that song. I can barely get through an entire song anymore because of the hand problem, the Dupuytren contracture, that's also known as Viking disease, um, that put me out of playing guitar for five years from the time I was 57. So you're not going to get lessons out of me. Um, you're not going to get full songs. You're not going to get me shredding. You're not going to get me uh, doing what I did back in the 70s when I was high school when we actually uh, cut a gospel folk album. Uh, and I was listening with my picture and the others on the back of a, uh, of a old LP album that we cut in a recording studio with 16 track. That was a big deal then. So why am I telling you this? Because your journey never ends. Mine ended in 1957 and it broke my heart. Um, but I was able, through some uh, working with my doctor, some other things, and a lot of exercise to get back to where I could play again. So I'm trying to give back to our loved craft in other ways. Uh, I teach my grandkids. I try to help y'all. I, I don't do this for money. I don't want to do this for money. I don't take solicitations for the guitar-worthy sites. Um, but, but I'm not here to perform an audition either. So no, I'm not gonna play songs for you. But I am gonna show you something I went through uh, back in 1975. Um, we were doing My Sweet Lord for a church group. And we had a bunch of, of acoustic folk guitars. Well, I had an Ibanez Black Beauty as a second and my first decent electric guitar. It was a Ibanez Black Beauty Les Paul Coffee. Um, and I had a big Fender Super Twin Reverb tube amp that back then, even though I was a, 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 a starting football player for four years, um, <laughs> I thought it was the heaviest darn thing I ever had to haul around in the world, and they are heavy. Um, my, my middle son that I taught to play guitar actually went on a quest to find a tube amp exactly like that, and he found one. I'm not sure if he found it on eBay or, or where he found it, but he found one, and he had to really search for it. So my point is I was playing with a lot of folk acoustic guitars. Some were nylon. So the music director changed the song. Now, you know, I'm sitting at home listening to the Beatles and George Harrison and, you know, the way they play it. And so, you know, I'm at home practicing the lead, you know, and, and I'm sitting there and I'm trying to figure out what'll work. And then, after I'd do that at home, I'd go into the, the rhythm. And I was trying to mock what they did on TV. Not TV, but on the radio. Boom, 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 boom. But. Because I learned this alone, when I came back to play with the group, I couldn't do what I'd done. First place, I had to slow the lead down to match the tempo the director had made for the song. The second thing I had to do, after I'd gotten through the lead, you know, I would go into strumming. Well, I couldn't do that either because after I played the lead in the band, if I had to come in with the A minor when I did, I would have been a bar behind the acoustic players that were continuing to play. So sometimes you still got to be a musician's friend. It, it's one thing 
you know, if you were a solo at a, at a nightclub or a, a, a restaurant or something like that, and you were doing My Sweet Lord, well, people will wait on you to play the lead and then come in with your, you know, strumming and things like that. But a band is continuing to play the rhythm, which is why I always say rhythm is everything. So sometimes you're going to have to alter the way you've learned the song. You're going to get criticized for that. You're going to hear people go, that's not the way George Harrison did it. And he probably didn't. But I wasn't George Harrison. I'll never be as good a guitarist as George Harrison. But I can love what George Harrison did. And I can love playing with other people. And we can play off one another. And sometimes if you're going to play with other people, you got to learn to do that. So, hey... I hope your guitar journey is blessed, and always remember, happy picking.